we'll be doing here is uh, just getting the retaining compound, Loctite 641, uh, and then applying along here, along the sides, okay? Just along there, cool, cool, cool. Do not need to apply here, okay? So, because this thing is actually spinning, loose inside, okay? So, uh, it's not touching anything, okay? So, this is what, uh, what actually grabs into inside the, the bearing, okay? So, that's where you're applying that. Uh, and then here would be the same thing. So both sides actually have to clean that first. It's the same thing. You you clean everything you can here. The, the, to do your best job with cotton buds, I recommend. And then, well, okay. So you do not apply this thing. Just getting here like a dripping, like we're filling up with this uh, Loctite. Okay, you're going to end up locking the bearing. That's, you don't want to do this thing. So you're going to be using cotton buds and just applying along the sides here, okay? Just along the sides and maybe just trying to go like a just to the to the surface here okay you don't want this thing going uh and locking the the, the plastic here okay so just try to go just inside would be best okay right so i'll be doing this procedure right now here okay so it might take a bit long but this is a very important video uh this thing here shake very well very very well it, okay Right, so I did check very well before the video. I'm just doing this just for fun. Right, so you got this thing like everywhere here inside now. It looks pretty messy. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make. Cool. Right, so I'm getting the cotton bud completely covered with this thing, okay? This is a glue, okay? So we're gonna apply here first, and after all this procedure, you get, you're gonna have to wait for 24 hours to let it dry. Okay, that's recommended by Loctite. Okay, just applying here. I don't know if you can see in the camera. Good, good. Okay, doing the same procedure here. Okay. Just along the sides, okay, lock tight. We need to get a bit more there. Okay, applying enough here, get a bit more. Oh yeah. Okay, you don't want it too much. Okay. You don't want to saturate this thing, right? Okay, cool. So now I'll be doing the same procedure now. I'm um, just putting this thing back there, okay? Ah, a piece of rubber. We actually do a much better job than a cloth I used in this video, okay? So just use rubber instead. Don't use your hands, okay? Uh, do the same thing here, just grab with the, with the ply, okay? Grab to the top. Right. And then we're gonna put it back. It's gonna go like really strong, bang, okay? But you have to make this thing, I'm gonna be showing, fit properly there, okay? You don't wanna, I'll be showing. Hang on. Oh, God. All right, so this is one. Oh, all right, Let me show you. Okay, so what do you want? You want to actually have the magnet aligned with the with the motor. Okay, sometimes when you just uh, put the shaft back inside, it doesn't stick inside the bearing. So what you have here, when you look sideways, the magnets you you be able to see the magnet sticking out. That's you don't want that. You want actually the magnet go all the way inside, okay? Just like this. And then, cool, so you just leave like that for now, okay? And then you're gonna leave for 24 hours drying so you can actually use this thing, okay? So, cool, so that's the procedure. It should be fine, it should sort out most of your problems doing this, okay? It should fix some people's issues, okay? Power!